Welcome back guys to another 1991 Pokemon card opening. Uh, these are, I'm going to do a mailbox opening today. This is not really a mailbox, it's just what I've ordered. Not No fans submitted these, but I'm going to open that in another video to show you um, what's came in the post today. So that's from KS Cards, there's a couple of surprises in there. I'm not surprised, just a new product that I wanted to check out. And then this, as you can see, <laughs> I tried to open it on camera, but um, it was taking quite a while. But yeah, this is something else that came in the post. I'm not I'm not lying. But yeah, this is uh, off eBay. Oh, is there more packaging? There's more packaging. <laughs> Hopefully this will come off easier than the last bit. Tape everywhere. This is very well packaged. Very well. It's done a right professional job. Now in this, it should be a complete set of Pokemon cards. Not complete master set, I need to finish it off. But um, I picked this set up for £140 off eBay. And the complete master sets are going for about 250 at the moment. Here's a card for uh, watching the opening right there. Took a while. Yeah, it came with the binder, as you can see. Let me try and get this on free. But yeah, it's an uh, Ancient Origins uh, collection. I think it's near enough for uh, a master master set. I think there's missing 10 um, hollows or reverse hollows. Some of them being like the entire um, full art. Would, you, would it be a full art there? Would you say that's a full art? And I'm not used to opening the um, most of the XY series, but yeah, I'm trying to collect as much as I can to add to the collection that I've got. But yeah, I'm gonna put this in another binder just so um, the cards are side by side, like the the hollows and whatnot. In my previous videos, you'll see that um, I keep them in quadro folders and keep them in good condition, and so I can see exactly what cards I've got and what what's missing at the moment because some of these. Uh, are missing like the hollows and reverses but I can't tell from first sight as yeah I don't know what's hollow and what's reverse <laughs> in this set until I go through it all but yeah I think this has been um, a great find to say it's a complete set it just needs a couple of more cards add in to make it into a full master set um, and then the extras that I need to add in such as like the staff uh, pre-release cards and whatnot I'm not sure exactly in this set what, what's needed well, I'll be looking for deals on Troll and Toad and uh, Magic Mill House and Chaos Cards and eBay for uh, deals on those cards if there is any. But yeah, this is my missus bought a complete master set for about 180. Uh, about um, it'd be about two months ago, I think it was maybe a month ago. Time's flying. And she got it for 180, so she got a really good deal. We're fighting over it. <laughs> and there's the trainer's mail, gold hedge card. But yeah, I'll let her <laughs> take that. And I would pick up one in the future that was um, that was near enough or it was a complete master set. But yeah. I'm glad I waited a little longer. And this uh, seller said he's got a couple of more XY and Sun and Moon sets that he's looking to put on eBay, but he's not done it yet. So he's gonna message me as soon as he gets those up, or he's planning to. And I'll have a look at those. But at the moment, um, on my eBay page, if you go and have a look, it's in the description. Um, you'll see the the bulk um, bulk listings that I have on there, and um, you'll see my openings on my YouTube channel, of Forbidden Light and whatnot. But the Forbidden Light, the GXs seem to be selling, but the bulk is not. People don't seem to be too keen on it. Now I've got a couple of ideas how to help the sales of that because what I want to do. And what I have been doing is selling the bulk, opening the bulk, uh, selling it and making the money to, um, to actually help me complete the sets and pay for the sets in some cases. So yeah, I'm trying to do this as a, either a profit or just as a free master set on all the collections that I do. But then there's odd occasions where <laughs> I see eBay um, offers and I just can't help myself and yeah, it's a lot easier to... Um, on these pre uh, older sets, it's a lot easier to uh, 
to buy it than it is to buy the packs and open them. It's a lot cheaper, a hell of a lot cheaper. But yeah, um, so Forbidden Light's not selling too well, bulk wise. Um, sometimes it does do that when it's a newer set, people don't like tend to look for the newer sets for some reason. Like I don't know if the parents don't know. Here's another code. I don't know if I covered up the, uh, the QR code there, but good luck. Um, but yeah, I don't know if the newer sets, some people just don't look for them, or there's not enough on eBay to gain interest onto my listings, but yeah, I uh, don't know, we'll see how they do, but yeah, I've ordered some more stuff from Chaos Cards, I'm going to open that in another video, show me two of the new, um, let's open it up now actually, and I'll give you a preview of what's to come in the next few videos. Yeah, when this showed up this morning, I think uh, Becky thought it was more booster boxes. And I was like, no, I'm definitely not getting, buying more booster boxes yet. <laughs> I need to get rid of the bulk and pay for the other booster boxes, really, until I can get more. But uh, she bought an Ultra Prism um, booster box uh, last week, I think it was. And the quality, it must be a reprint because the quality is shocking. I'll, I'll go, I'm going to do a video on the uh, on the quality of the cards because uh, yeah, um, a lot of the her cards like the right hand side of the edge, the, the right hand side edge of the cards, it was like crinkled and the coloration and the the quality of some of the cards that she pulled out uh, in the packs looks really bad. Like it looked really good quality, but when you side by side uh, compare them to the the previous boxes that we've opened you could tell the quality wasn't near enough as good and it's really really bad because I know I keep going if my um, other videos gone live where I'll talk about the quality of cards from Pokemon it's really bad the quality that's coming out from these cards whereas like these XY ones don't look bad at all but the the Sun and Moon sets that I've, I started with Sun and Moon I've got some uh, Guardians Rising but yeah, the quality of the Sun and Moon sets are just shocking. The edges and whatnot are just not great. But yeah, another <laughs> another moan about Pokemon quality cards. But yeah, uh, there's another code for you guys. Um, if you want any more codes, be sure to be a subscriber and follow me on social media. I'll try and link the social media along here. Um, but yeah, I'll give random codes away, uh, giveaways and whatnot on social media. So. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and my Facebook group and whatnot. But yeah, uh, that's just a video of what I got in the post today. And yeah, hopefully I'll do another video showing the completed master set of this in the future. And also look out for the openings of these boxes and there'll be more codes to give away. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. And yeah, subscribe. Cheers. Thanks. Bye.